Okay, welcome to the Chinlek demo room here in ProLight Sound 2013. We are introducing here our new monitors for music creation. We call them the M series active monitors. With music creation, we mean home studio applications, small project studios, songwriters, DJs, artists working on the road, entry level music professional or hobbyist students. More like a simple rooms where you still want high end sound quality. That's what we had in mind when we were designing the M series products. Starting with the material of the enclosure. This is a wood composite material that is injection molded to the right right shape of the enclosure. There is half wood, half other substances in this material and it's very acoustically rigid material. A little bit more about that later. We have completely new Class D amplifiers. If you want to take a look of this material, I can put it around. Class D amplifiers, completely new design from Genelec. We have completely new driver designs for both models, both drivers. Very low distortion, high SPL driver design. And then we have also redesigned our room response controls to be very easily accessible so you can easily calibrate calibrate your monitors to your personal home studio. So a little bit more about this new enclosure and material. It's a very sustainable design. The material comes from Finland and enclosure is made in Finland and so are of course the Genelec active monitors. So it's very short and efficient process. As I mentioned, it's injection molded to form this acoustically nice form and very rigid structure with good acoustical performance. For example, if we compare this material to ABS plastic that is used sometimes, this is 100% stiffer. So you can see that this is excellent material for loudspeakers. One very interesting innovation in this new product is the reflex port which is located on the bottom of the speaker. So the airflow goes around the woofer and comes out from the bottom of the speaker. This is a new patented design from Chenle. Gives you a very low resonance and low turbulence reflex port flow. The new Class D amplifiers, they are very efficient in terms of power consumption. Up to 90% of the power consumed is transformed into audio instead of heat, what happens in traditional amplifiers. Class D, of course, is as a technology, it's a new not a new innovation, but what is new now is that we have been able to make so such a low distortion design that it's possible to use it for both channels and still get the professional sound quality. We also have included here the intelligent power management feature. So if you're not using your loudspeakers for 30 minutes, they will automatically turn off. I'll go to standby mode, consuming less than half a watt. And when you start playing again, they will come back on. So you will save a little bit of electricity and hopefully some money in your electricity bill as well. If you travel around with your speakers, we have a very nice feature that you don't have to worry about the voltage. You can just plug in and there's automatic voltage selector inside the loudspeaker, which will select the right voltage, whatever your country is. We have also several input options. Balanced combo connector includes XLR and 6.3 millimeter jack inputs and then unbalanced RCA input is the third option. The room response controls I mentioned are very important in a loudspeaker. 
for 35 years, Genelec has been developing active monitors and always we have included the option to calibrate your monitor to your own room. Because we designed the monitor for unechoic circumstances, but when you put it in a room, you always get reflections from the walls and other surfaces. Most common problem you always get is the bass boost from the wall behind the loudspeaker. Because bass radiation is not only forwards, but it's also the behind the loudspeaker. So to compensate for this, we have a bass level switch, which has three positions free space where there's no no equalization then we have minus 2 dB or minus 4 dB if you have several surfaces near the loudspeaker. The second switch is an EQ switch for base EQ or tabletop EQ and this base EQ affects a little bit higher frequency area than the base level switch. This one will affect the area around 80 up to 160 Hertz. So this can reduce the boominess if you get reflections from side walls or other surfaces. The tabletop EQ then reduces even, even higher area above 160 Hertz. The first reflection, if you have your loudspeaker on the table, the sound will reflect from the table surface and cause some problems in your sound, but with this switch you can reduce that boost from the table. And then the last third switch here is the level switch if you need to put down the level of the loudspeaker instead of your volume control, then you can use this switch to adjust the right level. So we have selected these options based on our long experience in designing monitors for professionals and also visiting hundreds and hundreds of rooms all around the world. So those are the innovations in this new series of products and now we are introducing two models M030 which has 5 inch woofer and 3 quarter inch tweeter. It has 50 watt amplification for the woofer and 30 watts for the tweeter channel. This results in 103 dB SPL and it plays down to 58 Hz plus minus 3 dB. And weight is only 4.6 kilos, so it's very lightweight. And the bigger model plays a little bit louder, goes a little bit lower. So it has 6.5 inch woofer, 1 inch tweeter. 80 watts amplification for the woofer channel and 50 watts for the tweeter channel. So then you get 107 dB and it goes down to 48 Hz. So that's the new M series in a nutshell. Do you have any questions or comments? If not, we can start listening to some music. I didn't know it was no 
Nobody kissing ever did inside When I kissed the cop out of Lady Goldman He broke my little bottle of love Love potion of the night That's what he did Love potion of the night